Avocado isn't the only natural and organic mattress in town. It's time to explore the birch. I'm Lauren, an editor and certified sleep science coach here at Mattress Nerd. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses and it's time to take a closer look at this one. We are here in the Nerd Lab to run this mattress through a series of geeky tests, go in depth on performance and make my pro con list. Now I've always been really interested in organic mattresses, so I have some thoughts on this one. But if you're in a time crunch and only have time to look at a few factors you care about, we do have these timestamps here to help you find what you're looking for. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Like the twigs, branches, and leaves used to make a bird's nest, a mattress has different layers that combine to make this organic bed right here. So I cut it open to get a closer look at the layers and how they perform, but don't try this at home because you're gonna void your warranty. Anyways, the birch mattress is 11 inches tall and it's made of a combination of natural and organic materials that I will go into detail. Now over here, we have this cover. It is made from organic cotton and it's made to be soft and breathable. And then we have some wool right here, which acts as a natural fire barrier and it's gonna act as another comfort layer. But our primary comfort layer right here is Talalay latex, which is more soft, conforming and pressure relieving than Dunlop latex. It has these hole punched right here for breathability and it's bouncy. Now under here, we have our primary support layer, pocketed coils that add some extra bounce, breathability and durability to the mattress, plus the coils make sure the edges are reinforced. At Mattress Nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is softer than a bed of grass, and 10 is firmer than the concrete under a crunchy leaf. And this bad boy is firm at an eight out of 10 on our scale, making it best for back and stomach sleepers. But we also want to see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. As it bounces on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's test this on the mattress surface. We're getting some great air, which isn't surprising with this latex foam and these coils. So it's going to be a great option for combination sleepers. Now, a major factor to look at when you are shopping for a mattress is your sleeping position. This is super crucial because the bed will perform differently based on your body type and sleep position. So we're gonna go through each sleep position, starting with side sleepers. Side sleepers just need a mattress that relieves pressure from the hips and the shoulders and keeps your spine in a straight line. Now the Birch may feel too firm for light to average weight side sleepers. However, it has great alignment and pressure relief for heavyweight side sleepers. Now back sleepers just need a mattress that keeps the natural S curve of the spine maintained. And the Birch does that for average to heavyweight back sleepers. However, lighter back sleepers may not love how firm the mattress is, but that is a personal preference. Now lastly, stomach sleepers like me just need a bed that's firm enough to keep the hips elevated, which aligns the spine. And the Birch does that for all stomach sleepers. Another point for Team Organic Mattress. If you suffer from aches and pains with your current mattress, you're gonna wanna prevent that with your new purchase. So we rolled out our super scientific pressure relief map, which uses heat mapping technology to indicate pressure distribution along the body. Just know that blues and greens are good and reds, oranges, and yellows are not. So let's take a look at our results, starting with our heavier back sleeper. So here we see pretty much blues all around. So we're looking really good on the back map here. Let's move to the side. So here again, we see our heavier side sleeper has no pressure issues anywhere on this map. So let's go to our lighter sleeper. Over here on the back map, again, we're seeing blues all around. And then on the side map, we do see pressure concentration in the hips and then a little bit in the shoulders, but this isn't too much to be concerned about. If you're a lighter side sleeper, it's really gonna depend on if you prefer a firmer feel or not. If you sleep with a partner, pet, or child and find that their movements wake you up, 
that is called motion transfer and that's not what we want. Now, motion isolation is when a bed stifles movement at the source so it doesn't transfer across the mattress and wake up your partner. So we're gonna test this with this beaker, okay. I filled it with water and that is you. The movement in the beaker is how much you feel when your partner, me in the scenario, tosses or turns. So as I press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning, we can see that the liquid in the beaker is pretty shaky. But we're gonna test this further with a weighted ball. I'm gonna drop it in and out of bed to simulate someone getting in and out of bed. Now here we can see that there's a lot more movement when I bounce this ball on the bed. So this is not the best option for motion isolation or couples who are lighter sleepers. Now I'm gonna test edge support. To explain this, I want you to think about eating pasta out of a plate versus a bowl. While the plate, you can still enjoy your experience, but it's messier, the sauce flies everywhere, and it's just harder to get those last few bites. That's a mattress with bad edge support. Now the bowl is nice and sturdy, you have a perimeter, and it overall just makes the experience better. And it's the same with the perimeter of a mattress. Now a mattress with good edge support is more durable, it's good for couples who need some space from each other, seniors who need it to get in and out of the bed, and edge of the bed sleepers. Now with the Birch mattress, it has really nice edge support. You can see here, I'm not really sinking down even though my feet aren't really touching the ground. And when I lay there, I feel really secure, not like I'm gonna fall off. To sum it all up, I made a pro-con list of the three best and worst things about the Birch mattress. I like to get the bad news out of the way first, so let's get into the cons. First up, latex and coils are super responsive, so this bed is not the greatest at isolating motion. If you do sleep with a partner and you're easily woken up, that is something to be aware of. Next, this dude is firm. So if you prefer a softer feel, or if you're a lighter side sleeper with pressure issues, you should check out our list of the best mattresses for side sleepers that I'll link in the description. And finally, if you're on a budget, you may not be crazy about the price tag of Birch. Organic materials are sourced from all over the world and that is reflected in the price of this bed. But if you do wanna take the leap at a lower cost, we have some coupons in the description below. On to the good stuff. This bed offers amazing pressure relief and alignment for back and stomach sleepers and the firmer the better for those positions. Next, as I said, this bed is very responsive, so it's really great for combination sleepers and sex. And lastly, if you shop green, what better way to start than where you start your day? This mattress is made with completely organic and natural materials. Now I'm gonna go over some quick hits regarding Birch's policies so you know exactly what to expect when you buy. Now, the Birch mattress ships free, and it comes with the industry standard 100 night sleep trial period. So during this time frame, you can sleep on your bed as normal, but if you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. But if you do like it, you can enjoy Birch's 25 year warranty. Pretty generous. But to know more about either policy in depth, go ahead and check out our written review in the description. All right, y'all, I could talk about mattresses all day, but I'm not gonna keep you. I'll see you soon in the next video. If you found this review helpful, go ahead and like it and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, visit mattressnerd.com. And remember, don't lose sleep over choosing a mattress. Let us nerd out and do the work for you so all you have to worry about is getting a great night's sleep. Bye. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses, and it's time to close... Blah, 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 blah. I'm always like this after lunch. Yeah. Bouncing off the walls. Okay.